Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you my altered paper clips. Uh, I came up with a little bit different way how you can make decorative paper clips and that's what I, what I would like to share with you today. First I'm gonna show you my paper clips so I'm gonna move these and I will show them on the page so I'm gonna move them on the side and show you in this journal how they can looks like. You can start with very simple ones uh, like this. They are a really very easy way decorated or you can put there more embellishment and make them uh, more decorative. You can use uh, so many different techniques and so many different techniques and all kind of off cuts. And these paper, paper clips are holding really well. They are very easy to make. And they are wonderful for scrapping your small pieces, for decorating your pages totally different way. I have to take it from this side, but here I can see. So from one side, we do have this very simple with small uh, charm and from other side we do have this one so you can create your small artistic pieces it can be this way or a very simple way and it can be on the top side, uh, top edge or on the side edge of your journal like this or like this and of course you can match it with the look of your journal ah, there you go and you can do so many beautiful layers and that paper clip will hold really well and it's really very enjoyable to make them and i especially like the the thing that i can use even teeny mini small off cuts for this type of paper clips and they do look so amazing even those simple ones they do look amazing and here I do have this very simple way. So I'm going to show you what you need to make those paper clips. So first, uh, if you want to create the same uh, paper clips like I do, uh, click on the link down below. Uh, there will be a link for a free download of this image. And it will be your template uh, from, from the back side, how you will cut it out, those pieces. And I choose two different papers. This one, this light one, uh, I'm choosing for collage. So this will be my background. And here where I do have some old print, I'm going to use off cuts like this. And I will make some kind of collage with these off cuts. And cover all that sheet with my off cuts. I've got very big amount of these strips so the smallest smaller smallest smallest <laughs> the small of cuts are the best for this one because you will work with small parts uh, like this so small papers of cuts small strips they are the perfect for collage for these paper clips and this paper it's 200 grammage paper and this paper will be my background and on this side I'm gonna use brayer and some stamping and some uh, book pages probably and a little bit of washi tapes and I'm gonna do my background uh, like very flat uh, not with so many layers of papers I'm gonna fast forward this process because you know, that will be boring to watch me. So uh, I used for that the brayer 
stamped background uh, ground espresso distress ink and faded jeans distress ink uh, from ranger and i use that prayer i will put link for that prayer i've got it from amazon so i will put link down below for those who are interested to have a look i stamped all that sheet with glinch uh, stamps from tim holtz because i just love them i think they are amazing for backgrounds i do love do love the look of, of those graphic uh, images and then i choose a few old uh, book pages strips uh, to put there some uh, some more decorative elements and some uh, beautiful washi tapes. These washi tapes I do have from Amazon as well. The link will be down below for those who want to have a look. I love these washi tapes. They they look so amazing. So I did just few layers here and there. Nothing too much complicated. I didn't want to overload it this one because uh, I'm planning to decorate it on the top once I will cut out those uh, those shapes so these are my two sheets one with that brayer and stamping and the other one with my off cuts i'm going to cut out uh, that template always uh, two those triangles together with that straight side back to back then fold it on the half and where are those uh, holes punch it uh, through and you do have your piece once you have uh, all your pieces fussy cut out from uh, those sheets and punch those uh, holes, uh, you can start to decorate them. First, what I placed on my uh, on my paper clips uh, was these small paper clips. I do have a few bags of these paper clips, and I, I'm not using them. And mostly, I'm not using them because. Uh, they are kind of hard to put on paper. Uh, it's kind of tricky to put them on the paper, especially these uh, shapes like it's triangle or this uh, square paper clip. It's uh, tricky to put them on the paper. So I had them in my drawer for two years. They are from uh, this creative collection. And uh, here you can see... Where is the, the Dari. Daris? Yeah, it's from Daris and uh, Wesson, 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 Daris. And it's creative collection of these paper clips. And for me, um, they are so beautiful, but they are kind of hard to put on the page on, on my journal. But they are brilliant for these paper clips, this uh, alternation. Because you will slide them just once. They are holding your paper wonderful way for this type of paper clip and you don't have to take them off. You just have extension. I need some paper. So you just have extension of this paper clip and then you can slide it over the edge. And because of this paper clip that this paper it's holding so well and it not it's not going you know anywhere it's holding so well and i'm gonna keep it there first it's beautiful decoration and it's it's uh, oh how is the bright word um, <laughs> it does that work you can use also those uh, plastic paper clips and leave them forever on on that paper glue some embellishments over it we will decorate today or if you don't have any like this just use a simple paper clip slide it somewhere and now it's time to decorate it if you will keep a small gap here you can use it for hanging uh, some charm so i do have prepared my pieces and i'm gonna make uh, one very simple yeah this can be here I will slide it a little bit out. I will have also space where I will put my charm. So which way are pictures? So I'm going to start with this and I'm going to make it a very simple way. So very simple way. I think it's some nice lace or trim. So I'm going to place it over it and with hot glue 
I'm fixing also that paper clip permanently so it will don't slide out and I still have the eye here where I can hook some charm or the loop there and then I will probably take some letter and if I will have some teeny meeny small quote I will take some quote or word or mini label maybe here I think I'm missing that quote in there so I need some word and I'm gonna take uh, this is in my ATC collection which I have uh, on, on uh, Etsy and I think I'm gonna take that relax that's a good one so I'm gonna put there that relax and because here I print it out on light paper I'm gonna use some cardstock glue it on cardstock so first I'm gonna make it a little bit stronger used hot glue because it's dimensional so I'm gonna place here hot glue and put the relax over it like this just very simple for the other side I'm gonna use a, uh, from same collection from those red ATCs I think this picture has some and some of these uh, embellishments. So I did uh, reinforce with another cardstock that photo. I cut out that label from here and I'm gonna make my small layout on this side. So first I'm gonna probably put this right here. Yes, and I'm gonna use uh, hot glue again. Like this and then I do have here small pieces I think this one it's from movers and shapers with that USA sign and with that arrow so I'm gonna use this movers and shapers die from Sizzix Tim Holtz then the, the photo Oi, it's alive And lucky number seven, yeah. Lucky number seven. <laughs> They're flying everywhere. Like this, then help for for the first time you need to help to your paper clip a little bit to slide it over the edge, but then you know once it's settled, it's settled. And you can nicely slide it over the edge. And because you do have that, that paper clip, it's holding really well. Even I do have that, that charm and it's uh, too many layers. It's that hot glue. It's beautifully holding. And my number seven, it's somehow creepy. When you want to do some um, 
little bit more complicated layers where you do have so many frames so i do have here a few things i can use uh, for that layout and first will be this frame i do have also inside uh, that off cut yes this way i will like it yes so i can put a glue here and with this top layer i'm securing those two bottom pieces here i do have double sided tape already so i'm gonna just take it off and place it on the top of my layer this way oh, come on go there And now I'm going to take my paper clip and I can try to manage it to place it on my paper clip. Maybe like this. But I will like something underneath, so I'm going to take off this one and use um, some washi tape, I guess. Something more dramatic but i can't this is dramatic enough i can't find the end of my ah there you are <laughs> so i'm gonna put a little bit of washi tape yes this way so you can distress it you can also stamp on it put there any kind of texture maybe some um, modeling paste you know to play with it to try different techniques different materials this is mini art and I think those paper clips looks really beautiful. So I'm gonna have a look. Yes, this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put lace here. And for fixing this big piece, I'm going to use also um, hot glue to make sure it will hold properly this way. And I'm missing hot glue here, so I'm going to add hot glue here. Like this. Now I can slide that paper clip back. And I do have one side, and on that other side, if this will be disturbing for you, just take some cardstock, slide it over the cardstock so you will see how your paper clip looks like. Because you know that background. Here you can see I used some uh, pizza box for fussy cut out that, <laughs> that frame. And I don't mind at all that it's seen from here. But if you need to cover it, just open it, put book page all over and fussy cut out around. That will make all that paper clip very neat. So here... You can slide it totally. I'm gonna keep that small paper clip on it permanently. And I can actually hang some uh, charm from here as well because I do have that hole in there. I need some decoration here, I will think about it. But I do have a few more layers. So here I do have this beautiful 
film strip label just simple circle and this this is from Tim Holtz this is Sizzix as well uh, this one I have no idea and this one I will have to have a look <laughs> I don't remember all of them so I think I'm gonna take this side yeah and I'm gonna put glue here over the paper clip to make sure that paper clip will hold there forever and I'm gonna cover it with that film strip here on the bottom I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and glue this now this label so I'm gonna put glue here where I saw I do have that part and here And I'm gonna glue my label. Ah, hot glue. Okay. Now the circle. Here, here, here. Okay. So I'm going to put glue here, here, here. And all the way here. Like this. And now my telephone. I think here I'm gonna use uh, hot glue for the inside. And some words, it needs some word. And I found this one and I think <laughs> I'm gonna place it there. <laughs> I'm gonna place it right here. From that other side, decorate it somehow. Make sure that uh, the glue didn't uh, didn't glue those sides together. And once it's glued place it over to your page and you have beautiful decoration and again decorated from the other side as well so these are my altered paper clips and uh, with this paper clip around that paper it holds really well and you do have space uh, where to start to put your layers and as you can see those layers can go uh, like really on big space you can even do bigger ones you know many layers of frames or some big picture so this is my sharing for today <coughs> pardon me with my paper clips a little bit different way i really like this one <laughs> so with paper clips a little bit different way i hope you did enjoy it i hope you found some inspiration uh, don't forget to click on that link. It's free download. This way, of course, this way. It's free download. So don't forget to click on that link and use the image if you like it. And then enjoy your craft. So this is my sharing for today. Thank you so much for visiting me. Have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.